Hello, hello Capricorn, welcome to your April reading. I want to wish you all a great month and let's get started with the first week of April. Okay, I see you guys feeling very protective during this week, wanting to save every bit of money you have. Some of you might be planning for <laughs> might be planning for summertime, maybe you want to take a trip or you want to do something, maybe invest your money, buy. Some of you are planning to maybe make a big purchase, move, buy in a buy buy a house or buy a car or, or a big investment I'm seeing. So you have you you've been very very focused you're on, on a tight budget you're saving every every paycheck every income you make and um but i'm also feeling you're also being very very strong have very strong feelings when it comes to everything that belongs to you you don't want to share you're very overly protective and and i'm feeling especially for couples you're being very stubborn about your point of view about um, how you're feeling about something you're saying no my way is the right way especially for those of you capricorns who are the breadwinners or make more money in the relationship you're trying to kind of control and dominate the relationship because of the fact that you make more money you're trying to use that the materialism you're trying to use um your your strength that 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 strength <laughs> point that you have to dominate the other person and for some i'm feeling you might be even uh, detached from from your partner you might be taking a break or you might be separated or you might be um, kind of spending some time apart and you're the person that is saying no I'm not gonna budge I'm not gonna compromise uh, I know I'm right I know I this is uh, this is how things should be done and you're very you you have a very one view of uh, of life you're viewing the world with one type of one color lenses you're not really open to what the other person is telling you a different perspective um no and, and this this is actually not going to work in the long run. You might be holding on as long as possible, but not really. It's not going to be very productive, Capricorns, if you're thinking about the long run, the long game to keep your relationship and, and, and nurture it. Also, I'm feeling for those of you who are... Uh, who have your own business or maybe you're in an executive position or maybe you're in a position when you manage your own team and you're very old school Capricorn you want to keep doing things a certain way and there might be someone new coming in trying to tell you hey we got to implement this new technology or we got to make this new change and let's let's work on this and you're like no no if your name broken, why fix it? If it's not, if it's working right, why should we change this? But you have to keep up with with technology. You have to keep up with everything that is new, and you can't keep um, holding on to those old habits or old patterns and you have to release that from yourself in the second week with a temperance card i see that this is a time for some balance this is a time for you to really compromise the angel of temperance is all about compromise it's all about viewing both sides of the coin it's all about healing so one foot in the ground being grounded, being realistic, one foot in water, being um, having that empathy for the other person, uh, the emotional part, being able to feel what the other person is feeling or sense how they're feeling. Okay, and find that balance within within your your relationship or within um, within your heart, and this is going to bring something completely new, a new stage, a new beginning for for you in different areas of your life. Also, what I'm feeling for you guys, if you are trying to make a change regarding the way you look or your body, and you're maybe changing your lifestyle, maybe you're trying to. Mm, Maybe you're trying to have a new diet, implement a new diet, you're trying to lose some weight, or you're trying to uh, eat healthier. Uh, what I would say is you have to make sure you don't go to the very far extreme, okay? And you kind of ease yourself in. Because I'm feeling some of you guys in the first week, you might start 
saying, oh, I'm I'm not going to eat, I'm going to fast for two days, or I'm going to eat one apple a day, and that's it, and then I'm going to eat, or you go, you're taking it too far, right from the jump, and some of you I'm feeling because of the fact that you're, <laughs> you're, you're going so on the other, um, on the completely other extreme, you might decide, you might say, I'm not going to eat all day, right, I'm going to fast, and then all of a sudden at 12 o'clock at night or 1, 1 in the morning, you're so hungry, you can't even sleep, and now you're indulging in junk food, and before you know it, you're, you don't really have any results because of the fact that you ha- you didn't really have a good balance there, so if you're feeling hungry, or if you're feeling like you like that's too much the best option would be to try and incorporate things very slowly and easy or if you get hungry as long as it's not too late at night eat but instead of eating junk food eat something healthy okay choose a choose a healthier uh option something that i've done and that works for me if you like peanut butter i used to uh as a snack instead of something sweet i will have like a banana with a little bit of peanut butter and that would really hold me uh and kind of decrease that 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 strong craving if i was craving chips or anything of that sort i'm not a nutri (laughs) nutritional expert so uh i'm not gonna get into too much into that it was just a quick tip that has that has worked for me uh in the second in the third week so we go as you can see the energy is starting is starting to shift and go and become better and better in the third week with the judgment card i see that you guys are finally able to see the other person's point of view and judge the situation the right way so now you're finally saying okay you're this is I'm, I'm i'm guilty for this or this is my responsibility i'm judging myself the the right way and this is what you're doing wrong so let's have a comp that let's compromise okay let's start new let's accept each other for who we truly are and look at the difference even from the cards you can see the person in the first week they're wearing heavy clothes they're it's it's a lot they're carrying a lot within themselves and now the 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 people here in the in the third week they're naked because they have released themselves from all that sense of angriness and bad feelings and carrying all of that stuff within them they're they're free now they're able to breathe they're able to see the they they're able to be truly themselves they're able to release all that tension and the energy of the judgment card is that pluto energy it's an extreme case okay it's an extreme it's one of those situations that couples go through and they actually makes them even stronger if they can overcome it or it makes them just break up and i'm feeling for a lot of you guys you're very strong strong people capricorns and there might be a power struggle between you and your partner so who is the strongest who is the dominated per who is the person that dominates the relationship who is the leader and the, if you want to have this relationship long term you will have to learn that each one of you has your strengths and your weaknesses so try to use those accordingly Okay, because focusing on just one person being the dominated figure in the relationship, what's going to create is that first, first, the person that has the the dominance that has all the control, that person is going to be overwhelmed because it's going to be overwhelmed due to everything that they have to do and all the pressure that is in their shoulders and it's going to create anger and resentment towards the other person there is the passive one and the other person is going to feel like they 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 will feel hate or resentment um or a sense of inferiority towards the person that is that that dominates and controls the relationship okay and the the person that controls it might even become my start bullying the other person and it's not it's not gonna last that long but if you decide to let's see one person is very good with finances okay you're in charge of finance you're good with that one person is very good with people they're easy to talk uh, they're easy to communicate with others they're very friendly very outgoing you go do that you know if if 
um, so play with your strengths. Play always play with your strengths. <laughs> um, something that me and my husband do often is like if we go to buy something, make a big purchase, he will play. We will play uh, good cop, bad cop. So he would be the person that is actually. Uh, going along with them with the sale with the salesman especially if we're buying a car and I'm gonna be the wife that doesn't agree to anything <laughs> and has a stronger opinion and I'm also good with finances and I've worked in I've worked in banks especially in car loans and all of that so I know a lot about that stuff so he always lets me lets me handle that part he's like okay you 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 handle that I trust you I know you're good with this kind of stuff you 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 have a degree in banking so you know what you're doing you handle that part and he's the more friendly one and outspoken one that is more extroverted that likes to talk to people and be make friends and all and all that so always play on your strengths and weaknesses together because that's going to make you more stronger and it's going to bring you closer together and that's going to build that long-term relationship instead of having instead of fighting over who uh who dominates who is stronger okay uh, and I'm feeling that for those of you guys who will be able to overcome this, you will become, as as a, as we say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So you will be able to have an even more beautiful relationship and more harmonious relationship, a relationship that is going to last for a long time. And for those of you who will decide to end the relationship, you might even not say anything to the other person. Some might decide to have an official closure. Some might decide to just make peace within yourself, like actually be truthful to yourself and say, okay, I'm not going to hate this person anymore. I'm not going to resent them anymore. Whatever they did, they did. I want to look at the future i want to heal i don't want to carry this thing this anger and this feeling of disappointment any longer in my heart i want to release that i want to breathe i want to be my myself i don't want to carry this with me anymore and in the last week with the star card that's what i see for you guys i see healing i see hope i see you finally finding that direction in in life finding where you're headed looking at your future your future is bright is promising for for those of you who are single you have gained a great um great knowledge from this relationship so it was a karmic relationship that brought you something like the phoenix the judgment card is connected with that pluto that phoenix energy the bird that uh, that from from the ashes it's burned to ashes and from ashes it's reborn into a more powerful more beautiful bird same way for you you will not make the same mistakes that you used to make in the past you, that's not going to happen anymore you're stronger you're more powerful you you know what you want and you're focused on the future for the couples that were able to finally overcome that um, uh, to finally overcome that energy of of uh, of power struggle now you finally found the direction and this is a relationship that's going to last for a long time and you're going to have a beautiful uh, deeply connected uh, strongly uh, strongly connected relationship okay and look at the similar image that we have from the temperance to the star card okay we both have the cups and we both have one foot in the ground and one foot in the water but the difference is the person is naked so you have evolved here okay in the face of the temperance you're still carrying something with you you're not you're looking you're in the first stages of looking for that peace that harmony that balance but you're not right quite there yet with a star card you're finally at a point when you have released yourself from all of that you're free you're truly truly free and from the oracle of your soul's lessons, the message is grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Beautiful. Sometimes you have to have 
a, a small break for couples. Sometimes couples need need a break, especially if you take the person for granted and you feel like, oh, they're not going anywhere. I'm the person that makes the money. I'm the person that that controls the relationship. They're not going anywhere. But once you realize that, hey, this person is wow. They really have a strong role in my life, and they're um, and and I. I didn't realize how much this person did for me or how much they were uh, they were beneficial in my life before I, I I'm, before they're not around anymore. That's going to make you even appreciate the person even more or that's going to for those of you who will lose the relationship that's also going to help you realize what to not do in the in, in the future. From the oracle of from the oracle of love, the message is: emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay, very important. You have to let go of anger and resentment. You have to let go of negativity. That's what, and look at the person is naked too. So we have the same symbol of freeing yourself, okay? Freeing yourself from heavy burden, freeing yourself from stress, freeing yourself from all this, this um, uh, negative feelings, okay? And from the oracle of the heart, the message is dark fears. What I've, um, what I've noticed with you guys with Capricorns, uh, especially for Capricorn, uh, for those of you who have your moon in Capricorn or your rising or ascendant sign in Capricorn, I've seen that you guys are very, very good at controlling your emotions or your feelings. Okay, especially moon Capricorns are very, very good at controlling your, your emotions. You don't want to look weak. You don't want to look like you need someone. Sometimes people perceive Capricorns as being cold, as being, um, as being emotionally detached or uh, power hungry or they're focused on other things. That's not true. You guys have a lot of love and you have a lot of, you You can be very committed and very dedicated, but it takes a while for you to get to that point to really open yourself up. Because one thing you don't want is seem weak, but don't allow yourself to dwell too much on that, on the, on the dark fears. Okay. On that anxiety. Am I good enough? Um, there's sometimes you can be hiding an inferiority complex within you because you're trying to fight it so much by seeing that you don't care and saying, Oh, I don't care. I don't care. But actually you do care and you care a lot. Okay. If you say, generally speaking, if people say they don't care about something more than likely, they, they do care. If you're neutral, if you're ah, okay, w whatever, either way, then it's then they really over it there <laughs> i don't know if you've noticed if you met if a friend of yours it's over a relationship and they claim that they don't care that they don't care and that they're having the best time of their life and they're doing whatever they want to do that actually it's an indication that they do care they do um they do care and they do want to have some they do want that person back uh, so yeah, don't allow, but don't allow that to dwell too much on it because the more you feed into your fears and into your anxiety, the more they expand and the more you get trapped into it. Free yourself, free yourself from, in order to see things clearly, let go of resentment. As we said, look at the difference. Again, another symbolism. Look at the difference. A person was wearing, uh, it looks like, a shirt, um, a sweater, a jacket, it, it completely covered up, okay? All those fears, all those things weighing on him. The person here is, is naked. They're releasing the fear. They're releasing their, their darkest emotions. They're accepting it, you know? Sometimes there's more power to accept it, to accept your reality, to accept your feelings, to accept your, uh, to be vulnerable and say, hey, I'm scared. Hey, I, I'm, I'm afraid of being alone. I'm afraid of being by myself and cry and 
let it out and that's it and I promise you you might feel better it's, it's it takes some strength to do so but once you say it it's out there you cry you get it out of your system and and you 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 look at it in a more in a more clear uh point of view you can you can really judge the situation for what it is okay my friends this is all the messages that i have for you guys uh, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for watching. If you like, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me uh, continuing to make these videos. Thank you. Share it with your friends. And I see you next time. Bye-bye.